the mind is not a vessel to be filled up, but a fire to be ignited. With this thought, I would like to start my lecture about nutrition in plants for class 7. Today's topic is about an experiment to show chlorophyll is necessary for photosynthesis. So today we are going to know about that whether the chlorophyll is important for photosynthesis or not. So let's move to the requirements. What is the requirement for this activity? Requirements are a variegated leaf. What do you mean by variegated leaf? The leaf which is having different colors and very simple example is croton leaf. So here we have to take a variegated leaf. Then second iodine solution. The third one is water. Fourth dropper. Six beaker. Then sorry five beaker. Six Bunsen burner. Seven alcohol. Eight a forceps. Nine test tube and a petri dish. So these are the requirements for the process for the experiment. Now move to the procedure. What will be the procedure? So the procedure first step is to take a potted plant with variegated leaf. Variegated leaf again I am telling you the leaf which is having different colors like yellow, red, brown etc. Green all the, these color uh, in one leaf that is called variegated leaf. And what do you mean by potted plant? So here this is a potted plant. Okay. This is a potted plant. The plant with the pot. That means this is a pot and this is the plant. So we have to take this potted plant. Now what would be the next step? Keep that plant in the dark room for three days. Now we have to keep that plant, that potted plant in dark room, in the dark room for three days. What would be the next? Keep that potted plant in sunlight for 6 hours. Now, after keeping that plant in, uh, uh, in the dark room for 3 days, after 3 days, we have to take out that plant from dark room and then we will have to put that plant, potted plant in sunlight for 6 hours. Okay, for 6 hours. So, what would be the next step? So after keeping the plant in sunlight for 6 hours, we have to take out that plant from the sunlight. What we, would we, uh, we have to do? We pluck the leaf from the plant. That means we have to remove or take out one leaf from the plant, potted plant. Then the next would be then boil the plucked leaf into the water for a few minutes. So we have to take a beaker, pour water into the beaker, pour uh, put leaf into the beaker and we have to put or keep on Bunsen burner which is a flame. So put off, put on the burn, uh, Bunsen burner, keep that beaker to the Bunsen burner and let the bo water boil for a few minutes. Okay, after that. The sixth step is after boiling that wa uh, water or leaf, we have to take out the boiled leaf with the forceps. So there is a tool, a small tooth tool with that we have to take out the leaf, boiled leaf. Because it may be hot, so it may be uh, burn you, it may hurt you. So we have to use a for forceps and we have to take out that boiled leaf. Then place the leaf into the alcohol containing beaker. So once again we have to take a beaker or a test tube and pour 70% of alcohol to the test tube and we have to put or place the leaf into that the boiled leaf into the alcohol containing beaker or test tube. Then the next would be boil that ethanol containing leaf over the water bath for about 10 minutes means a, uh, a whether it is it would be a beaker or it would be a test tube. So after taking the we have to take the test tube and boil that test tube in water bath. That means we have to take, we cannot uh, put the test tube directly on the burner because alcohol catches fire very immediately. Okay, so that is how we have to take care of it. First, we have to take a water bath like a beaker in with the water. Keep uh, that water bath into the uh, 
that uh, Bunsen burner and then let the water boil and then we place that test tube into that uh, beaker with water and let the uh, 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 water boil for about 10 minutes. Now what will be happen? After that, after 10 minutes, now put the boiled leaf into a petri dish. So after boiling 10 minutes, we have to take out the leaf again with the forceps and take a petri dish. Okay? And then we have to keep that boiled leaf into a petri dish. I was, I have, uh, uh, I think I have shown you what is petri dish in my previous uh, experiment lecture. So we have to put the boiled leaf into a petri dish. And what would be the next? After that, we have to add a few drop of iodine solution. Okay. Iodine solution we have to find out and we have to put the iodine solution with the dropper. And what would be the observation? After uh, uh, putting that iodine solution to the petri dish, what you will observe? So what would be the observation? Look at the observation. We found that some portion of variegated leaf turns into blue black color and others are not okay means when we put iodine solution as we know that we choose we have chosen a variegated leaf that means the leaf which have different colors so when we put that uh, drop of iodine solution to the leaf some portion of variegated leaf turns blue black but some some are not okay so what will be the conclusion the portion of leaf which turns into blue black contain a uh, color source the presence of chlorophyll now what do you mean by this conclusion that means it says like uh, whatever the variegated leaf we have taken when we add drop a uh, drop of iodine solution into that some part of the leaf changes its color that is blue black color i always told you that iodine solution is for uh, uh, starch taste that means food is actually stored in the leaf as a starch so if chlorophyll is there then only plants can prepare food so if blue black color turns into uh, that uh, leaf is having blue black color it means starch is formed and how it is formed because of the presence of chlorophyll so that is how we can prove that chlorophyll is also essential for photosynthesis now i just wanted to show you the diagram related with this like i have chosen i just make it for you you can see that this is a variegated leaf okay here this portion these are the portion where no color change taken place. No change of color taken place. But here you can say blue black color. That means this portion of leaf contains chlorophyll and that is how they prepare the food. That means ki that green leaf not only can prepare the food for the plant. Colorful leaf also. Why? Because green color is masked by other colors. It is hidden by other colors. So it is not exposed to the outer surface. So that is how we can say that chlorophyll is very essential for photosynthesis. I hope you understand what I am telling you. So go through this video and if you have any query you ask me the question when online classes is going on. Thank you very much. God bless you.